Aegis, India's light combat aircraft, just gained a major edge with the addition of the ASRAAM missile. This powerful weapon joins the R-73 and Python 5, making Tejas a triple threat in close quarters combat. ASRAAM's lock-on after launch capability gives pilots unmatched flexibility, and the whole package signifies India's growing self-reliance in weapons development. Get ready to see Tejas dominate the skies. India's Amka fighter is a long way off, but the Su-57 offers a ready-made fifth-gen solution. Its stealth agility and recent upgrades make it perfect for the IAF, plugging the gap while providing valuable lessons for Amka. Plus, it works seamlessly with India's S-400 system, boosting air defense. Su-57, a strong contender for India's immediate and future fighter needs. In a significant step towards self-reliance, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, will establish a manufacturing facility for TPE 331-12B engines, powering the HTT-40 trainer aircraft. This follows a $100 million contract with Honeywell for 88 engines and support services. HAL's manufacturing capabilities will reduce India's dependence on foreign suppliers while boosting the local economy. LCA Navy's success paves way for TEDBF, India's next-gen carrier fighter. Enhanced range, heavier payload, improved maneuverability and state-of-the-art avionics make TEDBF a formidable force. With 45 units planned for each of its two aircraft carriers, TEDBF will strengthen air defense, boost indigenous manufacturing, and secure India's skies. DRDO's next-generation UAV launched precision-guided missile, ULPGM-V3, boasts extended range of 10 kilometers and enhanced communication capabilities for precise targeting. Three warhead variants, anti-personnel, roof buster, and anti-armor, anti-tank, add versatility to the missile system. India's first hybrid rocket launch, a 3-meter tall rocket with a unique green propulsion system, reached 35 kilometers. The launch marks India's progress in sustainable aerospace technology. Space Zone India plans to launch the world's first mobile hybrid rocket from a truck on August 24, 2024. ISRO has successfully returned the Chandrayaan-3 propulsion module PM, to Earth's orbit after completing its lunar mission objectives. The PM's trajectory was carefully adjusted to avoid potential collisions and now safely orbits Earth. This successful operation extends the PM's mission life and provides valuable insights for future lunar missions.